back to our channel. I'm Sunny from the Triple S's and today we're going to be doing a craft for your guys' hamsters. So this is my hamster. Um, she's a female Syrian hamster. Her name's Pepper and she's almost a year old. And I think she's really going to like the swing we make her. Let's get into the video. For this craft you'll need nine jumbo popsicle sticks, eight miniature popsicle sticks, floral wire or hamster safe string, one food skewer, and a bottle of Elmer's school glue, and some kind of popsicle cutter or scissors. The first step is to line up seven of your craft sticks, and then with the remaining one, cut it in half. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. The next step is to grab your school glue, turn over the half of the popsicle stick you made, and put a line of glue through the middle of it. Then you see your row of popsicle sticks you have here lined up. You're going to want to make sure they're all lined up perfectly straight, not perfectly, and push down the little piece you covered with glue a second ago. So for now, your swing should look like this. Repeat with the other half of the stick. After you've done this, your swing should end up looking like this. Then you need to let it dry for 10 to 15 minutes. See you then. The next step is to take two of your jumbo popsicle sticks and you're going to glue them together at the top at an angle. But first, you wanna measure it up to the side to make sure it's not bigger than your side. So I'm gonna do it about this angle. Get your glue on one of the sticks. Put a little dab, about that big, and then you're going to put it on the other stick, measure it up again, so that looks good, and then repeat with the other side. The next step is to glue your sides onto your base. So what you're going to want to do is go to about the bottom of the stick and not just right above the bottom put a little line of glue just above the bottom on both sides and then you can come and stick it onto your thing and until it dries you're going to have to hold it so, check back in with you guys later. Another option, if you don't want to hold it the whole time, you can prop it up against the school glue or something else. So, so guys, I wasn't able to use the Elmer's glue to stick the end of the angled piece to the base. I tried it a lot, bunch of times. Um, I left it to dry, and then I came back, and it just wouldn't stick on it. So... I'm downstairs now and I'm going to use hot glue. Now I know hot glue isn't good for hamsters to digest, but my ham I'm only gonna use a little bit and my hamster doesn't have a problem with chewing up her toys or anything. I'm gonna monitor her playing on it. I'm not gonna leave it in overnight. So I think she should be fine. So anyway, let's get back to the video. So guys, now my hot glue gun is all warmed up and I'm going to take it. Remember, have adult, if, you're, if you're unexperienced with the hot glue gun, make sure you have an adult helping you. So, at the bottom, the same thing we were doing with the Elmer's glue, we are going to put a little line. Now, if you don't have a hot glue gun, um, you can always do the Elmer's glue. You can use other glues. Just make sure they're non-toxic, please. So if your hamster does ingest them, it will not hurt them. Now, 
Okay, we stick it on. Hopefully it dries really fast, so I'm just going to hold it on here like this until the hot glue is dry, which it almost is. Okay, so now that that side is dried, just repeat with the other side. So guys, we are back and the hot glue is dry. I think it looks pretty good. This is what your swing should look like right now. And now we're going to connect them with a bar to tie our string or floral wire onto for the swing. So guys, what you're going to need for the swing is three of your jumbo popsicle sticks and your cutter. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut all of the popsicle sticks in half. So just cut them in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you want, you can cut it a little bit less than half. I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to make one side a little bit bigger than the other. So my hamster has more room to run around. There. Now, using this one as a template, line it up with the other ones like this. Clamp on. Once it clamps on, you can move it and cut like so. So I'm going to finish the other one and then I'll come back to you guys. Hey guys, I'm back with the three swing pieces. So they should look like this. And now we need to connect them together. So with one of the pieces that you cut off, see they're a little bit too long. So we're gonna cut off about a centimeter. So it will fit on the inside. Okay. Actually, I think I need to cut off a little more. Okay, when you've cut your thing, you're going to put a line of hot glue along the three sticks. Let me make sure they're lined up first. Hot glue along the three sticks. Like that. And put the stick you just cut onto it. Now, again, you could use Elmer's glue, but I already have the hot glue gun out and it's faster. So you can use either one. Okay, guys, I'm back and I've cut two pieces of my floral wire to 17 centimeters. We're going to need two centimeters to wrap around the top of the bar and then a couple centimeters to go underneath so the wire actually fits on. So the next thing we're going to do is bend about three centimeters of the bottom of your wire on both wires. Then we're going to take your hot glue or Elmer's glue. For this part of the uh, hot glue, it would probably work better. Put a little line here, right there, and then stick it on. So now I've put both sides on, and as you can see on the bottom, I put them a little bit, um, no, I didn't put them in the exact same spot because I think that this will help it balance more. So when the hamster stands on it, it will swing a little bit, but not too much. The next thing we have to do is bring back our original base and cut the skewer to seven centimeters. Once you're done cutting it, it should look like this. Now you're going to take, put a dab of glue or Elmer's glue on each end and be very careful not to burn yourself. Then you're gonna open them up like this and you're gonna push on them hard so it stays there. Well, not super hard, don't break it. And then wait for it to dry. Your swing should now look like this. It looks so good. We're almost done. The last part is to grab this part of your swing and tie it however high up you'd like it. I think I'm going to have mine about here. So I'm going to take this 
and I'm just going to wrap it around. If you have string, you tie it, wire, you can just wrap it. So we are done, and this is what it looks like. I think it's a super fun craft. Um, it's actually not very hard to do. Well, I, maybe for beginners it is, but this is what it looks like. And it rocks pretty well, but not too much that your hamster won't want to go on it. So I think this is a great craft for Syrians and dwarf hamsters. If you have a larger hamster, you might want to use all jumbo popsicle sticks. It doesn't really matter if you use small or jumbo. It, it's all the same. It just works for different sizes of hamsters. So and guys, this overall, I thought this was a really fun craft. It turned out really good. And now here are some clips of my hamsters playing with it. and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Skylar and Sierra also do fun things on their part of the channel. And you should go check out some of our other videos too. Make sure you leave a comment in our discussion box to tell us what you want to see in our upcoming videos. Bye guys!